Thank you, Kate. Just 24 hours after the governor unveiled her budget proposal, critics are taking issue with how she wants to close a roughly $200 million deficit. And in one case, the plan bets on betting. Tim White asked the governor about the criticisms during this week's Newsmakers. He joins us now with a follow-up. Governor Gina Raimondo is banking on the U.S. Supreme Court giving states the green light to allow sports betting. Her budget relies on getting $23.5 million starting in October from the expansion in gambling. It's a balanced budget, no tax increases, broad-based tax increases. A balanced budget that hinges on the U.S. Supreme Court ruling that states can allow sports betting. I don't want to get behind. You know, we want to hit, be able to hit go so that when the Supreme Court says we can do it, we're ready to go and we can You don't have want to get revenue. behind, but what happens if it, if it doesn't? You well, don't want to predict. Well, then figure it out. You know, this, look, what happens if the government shuts down? What happens <laughs> if they don't reauthorize CHIP? What happens if revenues are lower in May than they are now? This, there's a huge amount of uncertainty. That's part of the governing process. The budget also taps into the state's quasi-public agencies like Rhode Island Housing, taking money out of their reserves and putting it into the state's general fund. Is that really responsible budgeting, to just be yeah. yanking money out of a quasi-public's account to paper over the deficit? I think it is, in the ways that we've done it. Again, there's no easy choices. When you start, when you sit down and you're $200 million in the hole, you have to make a lot of tough choices. Now, it's important to remember the governor's proposal is not the final budget. There will be months of hearings before a final compromise is hammered out, most likely not until June. Tim White, Eyewitness News.